Hi, I'm Helen Morrell from Veterinary Thermal Imaging and we're going to talk about how we can use thermal imaging to look at uh, leg injuries. So when we're thermal imaging legs, we need to capture all views of all of the major anatomical areas of the leg. So you look at the major joints, the tendons, the ligaments and the skeleton, the bones that are making up the leg. We compare the left and the right hand sides and we're looking for thermal symmetry. We're looking to make sure that the same amount of blood is flowing around the left hand side of the body as the right hand side. Because if it isn't, if there's more or less than you'd normally expect to see, that can indicate an underlying problem. So in this thoroughbred's thermal image, we can clearly see that he's been pin-fired. You can see the marks that have been left from that procedure. Thermal imaging is a really useful tool for monitoring tendons and ligaments and can highlight problems up to two weeks before they become clinically evident, possibly avoiding the need to pin fire in the future. So some routine thermal imaging of this filly's foreleg actually highlighted a really extreme hot spot in the pastern. It was immediately referred to the vet who took some x-rays and actually identified a bone cyst at a very, very early stage of development. This meant that uh, pinhole surgery could be undertaken immediately and the prognosis is absolutely excellent now. No bone grafting was needed and this filly just has a one centimetre scar to show for the ordeal. So thermal imaging of this show jumper, which had started to refuse, has shown an area of inflammation in the left hock. We can see that as the ring of heat around the joint. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration, we've done the thermal imaging outside so that you can clearly see what's going on. But normally, thermal imaging must be done under cover, away from direct sunlight and away from any drafts. Environmental factors like this can influence the images and create artefacts or anomalies within the pictures that you're viewing. 